Hello everyone, I just received the package from Omnibel. Omnibel is a British company that specializing in adjustable kettlebells and mazes. Over here we have a kettlebell. All right, so first impression of the kettlebell. Well, I'm really impressed. I really like the color and I really like that this seam where two parts comes together, it's actually hardly noticeable. It's not something probably would catch or would bother me while I'm training. I like the powder coating as well. So that's looking really nice. And from the first impression, it's really good competition kettlebell. I will test it later on and see how it perform during the workouts. I like the size of the handle. Also, the way how it sits in the hand is really good. Yeah, it's good. It sits really nicely, definitely much better than some of my cheaper kettlebells. So make sure you read the instruction before you start fiddling with that. What is in the package? We have one adjustable competition kettlebell, check one Allen key, check one spanner, check one rubber washer, check. So it's all here. Right, so let's open it up. So we need Allen key. We have a screw right at the bottom. Okay. Read the screw the side oh we have nice bowl nice steel bowl could be good for my morning porridge nice and heavy we need the wrench okay I'll put it here inside we have two kilogram plate three four another four the three two and two kilogram as well. Inside we have metal screw. All the plates will be sitting. It's nice and securely held together by the bolt. This part will be 12 kilograms. And then with the help of different weights and plates, you can adjust the weight to suit your fitness level. You can have either all this or this. The best part of this kettlebell is that you have 19 different weights of the kettlebells. A little bit like my Matryoshka friend. And honestly, I have a lot of kettlebells and right now it's scattered in the shed, around the house. As you start getting stronger, you end up just keep buying new kettlebells. Problem is, you might end up with too many of them. And for someone who live maybe in a smaller flat or don't have much storage space, it can be an issue. When with this kettlebell, it's something you can avoid. Also another massive plus is that you can go in smaller increments. Generally, if you buy in the kettlebells, the difference as a standard is go in four kilos jumps. For some people, it can be too much. If you're moving from, let's say, 20 to 24 kilos, it's like a quarter of the way to 25% increase. With this, you can actually jump one or two kilos. So as it gets stronger, you can be adjusting the weight and add the plates as you go. Over here I have another competition kettlebell that I've been using for several years now and it would be really good comparison to this one. First of all, in terms of the handle, pretty much identical. So I'm quite excited to start using this one. The handle on this competition kettlebell is 11 centimeters. Handle on competition kettlebell from Omnibell is 11 centimeters. I would say 0 0.1, 0 0.2 millimeters. Pretty much the same 
diameter of the handle so it will feel exactly the same on the hand. The size of the window, this brand have a little bit wider window. It's a little bit narrower compared to this one as it sits really nicely on the wrist and on the hand. The size of the kettlebell itself, it's 66 centimeters 0.4. Fulberson 66. I can safely say they are pretty much identical. For me to switch in between this and this will be no problem whatsoever. One of the things I would like to mention, uh, if you already own maybe competition kettlebells, you might notice that they are all color coded. So you don't have to check what is the weight of the kettlebell, you just can grab and go. With this one, as you're adjusting it inside, there is no really color coding. So you just need to either calculate how many plates you have on the side left so you know what is the weight. So it's something probably you can keep in mind. For me personally, it's not gonna be a massive issue. And majority of people, they start with one kettlebell and they use pretty much the same kettlebell for a certain period of time. You might end up with two kettlebells, you might end up just like me with loads of different kettlebells. Next, I would like to move into the cost. What is the price and if it's worth it? And at the first glance, it's not the cheapest option. On the date of this review, the price for this kettlebell is £234.95. So it's not cheap, but I have the kettlebells which I've been using for several years now. So if you divide the cost of this, it's actually not that bad. So Wolverson have several different models, but I have this particular model or kind of older version of this model. So I'll be using this one for comparison. If we take the cost of single 24 kilos kettlebell, it's already 100 and pretty much seven pounds. If you need to buy several kettlebells or if you're progressing in the weight, more likely you will want to add some new kettlebells to your collection. And that's when the costs start adding up. So if we add that to our cart, Let's go at lower weight. We take 20 kilos at price 90 pounds, 16 kilos kettlebell at price of 80 pounds. And overall, the total is comes to 270, pretty much six pounds. If we take the Omnibell, which is at only 235 pounds compared to price of kettlebells 16, 20, and 24 it already comes up at much higher price. So if you know you use the kettlebells, it's something you would like to carry on using and it's something you will be using for many years, I would definitely consider purchasing adjustable kettlebell. Get through the pain of pain like a higher price at just once, after that you just can forget about it. So now I just want to test the kettlebell itself and go through some exercises and a proper workout, see how it's feel on the hand, how it's feel um, using this kettlebell. And if I notice any difference between the kettlebells that I used previously. So I will let you know how I get on with that. All right, just finished my workout. I tested this kettlebell with different exercises, a few basics like swing, goblet squat, uh, also, overhead exercises, snatches, presses, Turkish get-ups. And with exercises like clean or snatch, uh, there is no rattling inside. It doesn't feel like there is something moving inside. So everything nice, tight and secure. Let's check how long it's take you to switch the kettlebell, let's say from 32 kilos to 28 kilos. So I need to get the four kilos plate out. Okay, start. The 
which took me one minute, two seconds. Really quick, it doesn't take too long to switch between weights, so if you like to train with different weights, maybe starting with something heavier at first and then move to something lighter, uh, it's just going to take you one minute to switch. So it's not that long, it's not instant, but at the same time, I think one minute is and two seconds is very acceptable time. If you are serious about the kettlebell training, it's definitely worth invest early in your journey before you start ending up buying loads of different kettlebells. With this one, you pretty much future proof and you can switch in the weights as you progress in and getting stronger. So definitely worth to check it out.